this is what we're making today. Fried radish balls. This is a large daikon radish. We're gonna start off by peeling it. Then, we're gonna shred it using a large grater. For the first part of the recipe, we're simply gonna get all our produce prepped. After shredding the daikon, we're gonna do the same thing to this jumbo carrot. Then, using a fine grater, we're gonna grate some ginger. We're gonna smash a whole bulb of garlic, cut a quarter of an onion, chiffonade a small bunch of cilantro, and then slice up some green onions. Once we're done all our prep, we're gonna combine the carrot into the daikon and then mix. At this point, I've strained a little bit of the liquid from the daikon and carrot. Now, we're gonna add a quarter cup of Shaoshan wine, our green onions, our cilantro, our ginger, our onions, garlic, and a tablespoon of white pepper and salt. We're gonna give this a good mix until we have an even spread of all the ingredients. Once it's all mixed, you're gonna find our mixture to be a little bit liquidy, but that's okay. The flour will absorb all that moisture. So now, what we're gonna do is add in 150 grams of flour 30 grams at a time. If you add it all at once, you're gonna get a very clumpy batter. What you want is a nice smooth batter with an even spread of all the ingredients, like this. Once our batter is ready, we're gonna make our radish balls. You can roll your balls however you want. I like to do it this way because it portions it out evenly. Once it's portioned out, we're gonna throw it in the fridge for 10 minutes. This oil is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're now gonna drop our radish balls in it. We're gonna deep fry these radish balls for a total of three minutes. Make sure you're constantly agitating the balls so that the bottom of the balls don't burn. After three minutes, your radish balls should have a golden brown color like this. We're simply gonna throw this all onto a skewer and then get ready to eat. Well, here's a super simple recipe. This took me a total of 45 minutes to make. In terms of flavor, it's really good. It's a good harmony of multiple strong flavors. In terms of texture, the outside is crispy as expected, but what I didn't expect is the inside would be chewy. It's almost like a mochi. These balls may look small, but it's actually quite dense. I can probably only eat two skewers max. Anyways, that's it for this episode. It's a really good recipe and I highly suggest that you guys try it out. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If any of you guys are looking for a written recipe with detailed written instructions, check out my blog at chefmar.ca.